Fucking carnival in town, bitches. What? Fuck you, honking at. Fuck you, want. Why you honking? Why are they hungry? This is the ongoing What's history of music with Back in the 80s, the dominant form of rock was hair metal. Guys with big hair wearing spandex, sometimes makeup, playing big riffs with punchy pop hooks. Think Motley Crue, Quiet Riot, Twisted Sister, Bon Jovi, Poison, and so many others. The scene began in the late 1970s, mostly in Los Angeles, and spread around the world from there. But everything came to an abrupt end in the very early 90s. When grunge appeared, everything about hair metal seemed out of step, out of date, and the whole thing crashed. The hair metal era is an interesting study in how a sound and a scene is born, how it peaks, and then dies. This is the subject of a new book called Don't Call It Hair Metal, Art in the Excess of 80s Rock by Sean Kelly. If you want to dig into the kind of rock that sold millions of copies and is now considered to be a quaint musical artifact, this is a good book to get. Don't call it hair metal. Art in the Excess of 80s Rock is out now. The Ongoing History of New Music with Alan Cross. Yeah. Sunday night at 7 on Sirius 105, where Halifax rocks.